What is going on, people? From the tube. Welcome back to another bunch of things. Right now, I'm gearing up to go fishing in the afternoon. So, I gotta show you something, guys. All right, I want you guys to take a look at this. That's right. Remember my last fishing video? Yeah, they did a number on my legs, my entire body. They got me in parts of my body that I cannot show on YouTube. They got me everywhere. It's been a week and still eating, it still hurts. It's just terrible. Chiggers, chiggers got me, chiggers destroyed me. So, I'm gonna prep myself. I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna wear an extra pair of pants on the bottom, nothing thick, it's just to act as a, as a barrier between my socks and the pants because I am going through this hell again. This is terrible. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you what we're doing. All right, so yeah, I put my pants on and we're getting out. So this is what's going to happen. So I went to Walmart and I found this. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. It has some dough bait, stink bait, hook sponges, got me some gloves. One of my co-workers gave me this. So in all the bites that I had, I've been putting this to try to ease the pain because this is terrible, guys. Got me some off, some water. So what are we gonna do? If you remember in the first video that I did fishing here in Texas that I got skunked, I went to different places and there was a place that there was God. Well, we're gonna go there and try to snack some catfish during the night. Uh, always by myself, you know, but we've been craving catfish. And instead of doing what a normal person will do, which is go and buy the catfish and just cook it, I'm gonna try to get me a catfish so we can have some fried catfish tomorrow. But instead of doing it during the day, it's been 105 degrees today, it's super sunny. I'm gonna do it during the night and see, see what happens. Um, this is the first time that I'm actually adventuring with this type of bait for catfish. I had tried with something else, but I couldn't bring my own bait because when we move, I had to throw that away because couldn't keep it in there on temperature. But, but yeah, so, I'm gonna pack everything up, get in the car, and head out. Hi, here we go. I got eyes, I got my rods, all stuff. It's 8.30 at night on Saturday, and we are at 100 degrees still. And I'm wearing double pants with an insane amount of repellent, because I really don't want to go through these nightmares again. These freaking things. Like, like, really, like chiggers, like, freaking evil. No things are evil. All right, so, game plan is, I bought that catfish kit at Walmart, so, I don't know if that works or not, but I guess that this is gonna be a review. We're gonna find out if that will do the trick or if it's not gonna work for us at all. So I got three rods. Um, I've seen gar in there too, not alligator gar, but they look like needle nose gar. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna set up everything for catfish, and if after a while nothing has happened, which catfish is more of like a, a patience game, then I'll move and see if I can, if I see some gar feeding, I might see if we can, we can snatch one of those guys too. Unless it's done properly, eh, not a big fan of catfish. But if it's fried properly, once in a while it's tasty stuff. So I'm not saying that for people that like catfish, hey, I know that it's, a, it's an amazing table fare, but not my thing. But I'm gonna try, if we get some, we're gonna try a couple of things and see what happens.
problem here will be to I'm gonna have to retrieve the fish how far this is gonna be This magic vape, catfish vape, America's first. Yeah. give you a rundown of what I used. So I use one of these pre-hooks with some of the stink bait that comes with the pack. I'm sorry I know the light is kind of crazy but I use some of this that comes with it. This thing stinks. It's terrible. It smells horrible. Now I got sponges and stink bait can use different options so for now that's what we're gonna start with we're gonna let it sit let it do his thing and then we'll check for more see so what 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 we can do so I'm gonna just sit down and chill so the problem will be to retrieve this guy As you can see I'm in the opposite side of that so that is quite some some distance. So if I get a bite, then I have to then I have to retrieve it off. It's gonna be it's gonna be a journey. I got movement on the line, but I think it's the wind. Spiders everywhere. Yikes. 
Yikes. Oh man. This is gonna be crazy. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna grab the ugly stick and I'm gonna do a different presentation and I'm gonna put it to the other side. And that will give me two two options here. So here we're gonna do one of these sponges. Once again, this all came in on that kit. So just maximizing the chances. Oh dear god, that stinks. Anything on the line? Is the bait still there? Mm. Yeah, the bait's still there. Oh, some good idea. Smells been an hour so let's see well, it's been an hour nothing so ain't nobody said it was going to be easy huh all right let's go hey we got a bite here guys yeah. 
here. Look. Looks like we might have a bite. Sounded nice, but it broke off. All right, well, this is, this is part of the game. All right, I'm going to tie it up again and set everything up and cast again. All right, I'm all reset it. Okay, let's see. Time-wise. We're right here at 9, it's almost 12. Uh, we're gonna probably give it until 1. Let's drive home. I think that that's, that's a good thing. Probably 1 in the morning is good, but so far, nothing. Alright, so far, no luck, guys. So, it's about 2 hours mark now. So, we'll see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Alright guys, well time to go home. It's one in the morning and I got a couple of snacks and nothing else. But I had a great time. It was just breezy, still had us. Still has us a you know what. But it's breezy. We tried. So let's see what, what else can we do. I got skunked, but this is the first time that I do actually real cat fishing, so we'll see. I'll show you around and, and then at home. people from the tube well we did another one uh, today was at night uh, with the moon the moon is all back there tucked up that little dot right there that's the moon uh, I saw I talked to two people when I got here and they had nothing and then there was two groups of people that were here when I got here and they left and I asked when they were leaving they got nothing and then there was another group that came in after I already arrived here and they just left, nothing. Me, nothing. So I cannot discredit the kit for catfishing just because I didn't see anyone else get anything. If somebody else would have grabbed something, then I would have been like, okay, you know, that's not working. But unfortunately, nobody else uh, caught anything. So. Uh, could have been an off day uh, the day that I was here the first time that I came here people were snatching catfish out of here so I know there's catfish this is the same spot that I told you guys that there was um, gar uh, at night it's difficult to see and I was on the platform on the top side of the platform and couldn't see much uh, but <clears throat> tons of spiders I got two snacks, um, both snacks, like I recovered one, but then I got snacked again and I broke off. So I broke off twice, uh, but that's about it. Uh, didn't see much, there's field mice everywhere um, and bugs, but nothing that we can say it was interesting. So I'll see if I can do another spin tomorrow, um, the afternoon, probably not at night because I got to work in the morning on Monday, but but we try so my learning today was 
was interesting because one of the persons that I was talking, um, he gave me a whole rundown on his on his rig and what he was using. And as preference, everybody goes with caught up bait. So he was saying that he normally he catches a bluegill fin it and that's what he used to get catfish. Now he he goes for big catfish. I was just going for a catfish. Like I just needed a catfish. I didn't care how big it was. But that was a good a good tip there. So he he either swims on a big hook, he swims a bluegill and half a catfish get it or he cuts it up and uses it as a bait. I use that kit with the stink bait and once again I cannot discredit that because nobody else grabbed anything but now I know that if I get a bluegill that is an option that I have. I can I can fin it and or mouth hook it and have it fish freely with a, with a weight so the weight stays in the bottom and as the bluegill move around the weight travels through the line and the bluegill is just freely to, to, to swim around which is, sounds like a good idea as long as you don't have a lot of uh, branches or rocks or stuff like that that the bluegill might, might, get, might get stuck in them now I'm not that great to just come in and be like oh, yeah no problem I catch a bluegill and then I fin it it's one of those things like if you get one then 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 there you go i saw a lot of worms i saw a lot of uh, containers of fresh and caught up bait so that's something that i need to keep in mind when i keep doing this fishing around uh, i found new locations uh, and it's just gonna be through the week that i can try to go in the afternoon and check them all out and see see what's happening but thank you so very much for watching like share subscribe click the notification bell so you can be notified every time that i upload a new video i got catfish caught but so did everybody else so here we go thank you so very much for watching Pancho out